Here's example four of solving trig equations. So here we have cosine of theta equals 0 0.14. And uh, part A, we want to solve in this interval 0 to 2 pi. And what this means is just 0 is less than or equal to theta is strictly less than 2 pi. And uh, part B, find the general solutions. Okay. So cosine of theta equals 0 0.14. We're going to start this the same way we did the last couple of examples. And notice 0 0.14 is not a special uh, value that's on the unit circle. So we can't just use that directly, but um, we can still use the symmetry properties like we've been using. So let's go ahead and draw a unit circle here. Yeesh. Okay. Uh, so cosine of theta is, uh, so the cosine function is positive in quadrant one and quadrant four. Because remember, cosine corresponds to the x coordinates uh, of the point of intersection between the unit circle and the terminal side of this angle theta. So theta could be somewhere uh, here shaping up to be a really bad picture, um, or it could be somewhere down here. Okay, we don't have to get the exact location uh, down there, but we do want to make sure that uh, this point here and this point here make it at least look like they have the same x-coordinate, roughly. Okay, so um, this angle right here and this angle right here, these are our two uh, values of theta in between 0 and 2 pi. Okay. So how do we get this one here? Let's call this one theta sub 1. This one will be theta sub 2. Well, theta sub 1, we can just uh, directly take the inverse cosine. Okay, because if we take the inverse cosine of something positive, in this case uh, 0.14, uh, then we end up in quadrant 1, which is where we want to be for one of our answers. So inverse cosine is 0.14. Uh, that is one of our answers. Okay. Okay, now um, we'll toss this into a calculator a little bit later, but before that, uh, how do we get this theta sub 2? Well, this is where the symmetry properties come into play now. So because of the symmetry, uh, this angle here and this angle here are exactly the same. Well, this angle here we know is theta 1, okay? so this angle here must also be theta 1. How does that help us? Well, what if we go all the way around that's 2 pi, right? Zoom in a little bit on this. If we go all the way around, that's 2 pi. So what if we go 2 pi, and then what if, uh, after we went 2 pi, what if we go back this way? Well, what is that? That's uh, theta 1, but in the opposite direction, so it's really negative theta 1. So if we go an angle of 2 pi, and then add to that negative theta 1, what's that? That's 2 pi, and then add to that negative theta 1. Okay, just go back this way. Theta 1 units, but in the negative direction. Um, in the clockwise direction, that's negative for negative angles. So 2 pi and then plus negative theta 1, that's going to put us right here. Okay, That's going to be the same thing as this angle right here, which is exactly what we want. That's our theta 2. Okay, that is our theta 2. So uh, in other words, theta 2, when we simplify this, uh, 2 pi plus negative theta 1 means minus 2 pi minus theta 1. That is our angle theta 2. Okay? And we know what theta 1 is. It's uh, inverse cosine of 0.14. So this is 2 pi minus the inverse cosine of 0 0.14. Okay, so that's what our theta 2 is. So uh, now let's go ahead and toss these into the calculator. So we'll zoom in a little bit here, get rid of these from the other example. Um, and again, make sure that we're in the radian mode, so RAD for radians. And what we want is the inverse cosine of 0.14, and we also want 2 pi minus that. So one of our answers is 1.4303 approximately, and the other one is approximately 4.8529. Oops. So we'll zoom back out here. And let's go ahead and write those answers down. So for part A, uh, the answers are theta is approximately equal to 1.4303, or theta is approximately equal to 4.8529. Eight five two nine, I believe we said. Yes. Okay. So that's it for part A.
Now how about part B? Well, just like in the previous examples, all we do is take our answers for part A and then add the 2k pi. Uh, so for the previous examples, we had the sine function and we added 2k pi because the period of the sine function is 2 pi. Well, the period of the cosine function is also 2 pi. So we're just going to do exactly the same thing for part B. Take our specific solutions from this interval and then add 2k pi where k represents any integer. So theta is approximately 1.4303 plus 2k pi, where k is any integer, or theta is approximately equal to 4.8529 plus 2k pi, where k is any integer. And that's it for part B. So again, just take your answers for part A, the specific solutions, and then add 2k pi, where the k represents how many times you go around and around. So if k is 1, then 1.4303 plus 2 pi would be just around once like that. Okay? If k is 2, go around a second time. If k is negative 1, go around in the negative direction, the clockwise direction, uh, and so on and so forth. So these are the answers here, and that's it for example 4 of solving trig equations.